it's Zara. Welcome back to my channel. So I've had a really nice slow morning. I woke up super early today. It's something I've been trying to do on the weekends. I'll just get up really early and try to get everything done by the evening. So I've woken up, made my bed, and I put some oil in my hair as you saw and I'm like waiting for it to marinate. I just call it marinate when I let it sit in my head. Finishing my morning coffee. I know I've been gone from YouTube for a long time but I've been just trying to get into a really good routine and put really good habits into my life. I've been trying to get to bed at a reasonable hour which I never used to do. If you've watched my channel forever you know there's like literally days where I'm like oh I slept for an hour last night and it was just normal but I can't do that anymore. I've really been trying to get a good eight hours sleep and I've been going gym as well which I love. I go with my little sister and my friends sometimes. I just really enjoy getting out the house for like an hour a few times a week to exercise and I'm just really enjoying it. So yeah I've got quite a few things to do today. I am gonna crack on with some schoolwork. Didn't know I'm a teacher. I teach little reception kids at a primary school so whilst I've got oil in my hair I thought I would do some schoolwork and then I need to shower do some filming before I get on with everything I wanted to show you something really exciting that has come in the post let's open it together this is my new mattress and I cannot wait to tell you guys about Emma Mattress. They actually sent me a mattress last year and I'm not even joking, it has drastically changed my sleeping pattern and schedule. Love Emma Mattress. I will always rave about this company. They sent me one last year and I remember just before that my sister came and slept over in my room and she was like, Zara, no wonder you never sleep. Your mattress is horrible. My old mattress was really springy and just uncomfortable. So I have the Emma Lux cooling mattress. What it does is it gives you a deeper and sweat free night. So it has temperature regulation which is perfect if you're someone who gets really hot during the night. If you're looking into getting a mattress yourself now is the time. They've got amazing deals for their Black Friday sales. You can use my discount code. I will leave it on the screen here. So definitely check them out. Black Friday is the time to get all your essentials in. I know getting a mattress is a really big investment. So if you haven't heard of Emma they are actually the UK's most awarded mattress. They are perfect for side sleepers, people who sleep on their back or their stomach. They take all those kind of things into consideration to give you the best night's sleep. Might be TMI but if you get really hot and sweaty during the night their mattresses have really good airflow which allows for breathability. So if you struggle with that problem then I really recommend looking into Emma. I definitely think the best thing about Emma is their returns policy. Making such a big investment is obviously quite scary but you're in good hands with Emma because they actually do a 200 night risk free trial so you can actually sleep on your mattress for 200 nights before you make that massive decision and if you're not happy with it you can return it within those 200 days and they have a 10 year guarantee on all of their mattresses so if you've been thinking about getting a new mattress then I definitely recommend Emma I actually got their flip topper as well which is so cool because basically it has a soft side and then you can flip it to have a hard side so it's literally up to your preference and let's set these up they're really easy they come in these compact boxes and then they kind of expand and I'll show you that. So this is the mattress and that is my flip topper. Set the mattress up and this is what the topper looks like so I'm about to put this on my bed. And this is what it looks like from the side. So I've got my mattress here and then my topper. Now that my bed is all set up, I'm gonna get on with some schoolwork. But I'm really excited for tonight when I get to experience my new mattress. Yeah, I've shown. I have a towel turban on right now. Do these turban towels actually help dry your hair? Because they've never actually dried my hair. I feel like I use it more to get my hair out my face whilst I'm doing my makeup. This one is from Primark. They're the microfiber towels and they're meant to be like gentle on your hair. So I got them thinking it would help my hair. It doesn't really do much, kind of just take that out my face. If you're wondering why I'm wearing so much makeup, I haven't worn lashes like these in a very long time, but I'm filming a haul with a brand that I'm super excited to work with. I'm gonna film it now whilst I have daylight. I love winter and I love how it gets dark really fast. I think it's very cozy, but it doesn't come in handy when you're a content creator and you need the natural light to create content and I'm gonna try film that all now before the sun goes down. Got a few more things to film today and to edit today. I've got kind of a jam-packed day. I love doing all this stuff so it doesn't feel like work to me. And then later tonight I'm going out with my sisters. We're gonna have a meal. I just feel like we haven't had a catch-up in a while so I'm really excited about that. They're not super into eating out at nice places. We always have this argument whenever we decide to go out. I always want to try these new restaurants in Manchester because I feel like there's so many nice places to eat in Manchester. 
and they're just like no let's go to Jaffa let's just sit in the car and eat and I'm like oh. those places do have the best food but sometimes I just want to go out to a nice place but I always get outweighed outruled what's it called I don't know I always lose basically not sure where we're going tonight but it's not gonna be anything special and then really random tomorrow me and my little sister maria are going to liverpool she's got a work thing going on and she didn't want to stay there alone so she asked me to come i was like sure why not so i'm going to accompany her so yeah i'm gonna go film that haul now and i will catch up with you guys later i fix my hair i might just put it in a ponytail and then i can get going on the day i have finished filming and my room is an absolute tip but i'm obsessed with everything i got in that clothing haul so definitely go check it out it will probably be up before this video so yeah i wasn't joking when i said my room is a mess so i'm gonna clean this up now and then i will get to editing that video i also pulled my clothing wheel forward so everything is kind of everywhere i need to get this sorted before i do anything else So I'm just gonna spend a little while editing now. I'm gonna edit the video that I just filmed and another vlog, which will both be up before this. I finished everything I've needed to do today and I'm about to get into bed. Like I said, I've been trying to get to bed really early. So it is now 10 o'clock and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, so it is a Sunday today and me and Maria are having a little girls day. We've decided to come to Primark because every year we do this thing where we go, we buy a matching pajama set, like we buy the same pajama set and I don't know, it's just a weird tradition that we have and it's like so gloomy outside. We've decided today is the perfect day to go in. Yeah, I just got also just got laser done for the first time on my arms. I'm working with the therapy clinic in Trafford Center It was a really good experience. It didn't hurt at all The woman prepped me before and she's like, oh, it'll just feel like little elastic bands hitting you But I didn't feel anything. So yeah, really positive experience. I might get some more sessions in as well So yeah, let's head into Primark see what we find and I'll give you guys a little outfit of the day because I really like my outfit <laughs> We've already gone off topic from pajamas, but look how cute this coat is. Are you gonna try it on? Yeah, obviously. Well, they've got a dupe for those moon bags from Uniqlo. How cute is that? And they've got brown ones as well. I'm at the pajama section. I really want these ones. These look so cozy. It's just a set like that. Oh, they have like these viral TikTok ones that are so cute. Look at that, little teddy bear. Okay guys, I am back home now and I thought I would give you a little Primark haul. I didn't really get that much, um, but I thought you guys would want to see it. So let's get into it. Like I said, every year me and Mari go and get some pyjamas. So these are the ones that I picked up. They're just these plaid. It's just a plaid pattern, green and pink. I just thought it was so cute, but that's what it looks like. But these are so cozy. I'm definitely gonna wear these very soon. And then I picked up some fluffy socks. You can never have too many fluffy socks. These go missing all the time as well for some reason. So they came in a pack of two. And then I finally got my hands on some earmuffs. I've wanted these for ages and I've just never gotten around to it. Um, really random though. This was the Rita Aura collection. I didn't know she had a Primark collection. And these were five pounds. Okay, they look a bit, they look a bit crazy, but I just think they're so cute. Whenever I see people with earmuffs on, I'm just, I get really jealous and I want some. So yeah, these will definitely keep my ears warm. I'm not really going anywhere too cold, but I just thought they were so cute. And then they had this really good thermal section. And if you're like me, I literally get freezing cold in the winter and I'm always wearing so many layers but I've never actually got a proper thermal heat tech top and they had loads of these so I got this one I don't know if you can see they had different necklines which is really good so they had the high necks scoop neck they had some t-shirts some vests but I just picked up this one but yeah this one was seven pounds and I think they're more 
heavy duty ones were £12. So I'm going to see how I get along with this. Especially at work. My classroom gets so cold and I'm always sat there like shivering. And then I just saw this cute little bow. And bows are really in recently. So I might try this one out. And it's just a beret clip. Definitely check out the little bow collection if you guys are into those kind of girly things. And then I just picked up hoops standard i did say i was going to liverpool tomorrow with my little sister so i've got my suitcase out the garage um i'm literally going for a day but i feel like i just need a suitcase and we're going by train as well yeah i'm gonna pack for that now i will catch you guys in liverpool We are in the car on the way to the train station. We've just come to get some food really quickly. We've got some veggie gyozas and bang bang cauliflower. So we just finished our bag of mamas and now we're gonna go off to the train station and our train's in about 20 minutes. Hey guys, we finally made it to the hotel. It's called Novo Hotel. Novo Hotel. I'll give you a little room tour. I'll just start from the door. You've got the bathroom over here and it's so pretty. I love hotel bathrooms. I don't know why, but it looks like this. And they have the rituals as the soap and shampoo and conditioner. We've got a little coffee station over here. And then this is the bedroom. I'm so excited to sleep. The double bed and then a little sofa here. Mari's already laid out all our snacks for us as well. She's so cute. And yeah, I'm going to take my makeup off, get into my pyjamas and then just chill. For the rest of the night. Hey guys, I am in my night clothes and I've got Corpse's Bride on the TV. I've actually never watched it, which is weird because I love that kind of stuff like Coraline and Paranorman are like my favorite films, which is very weird, but I've never watched this and I'm really enjoying it for whatever I'm watching on TV so far. It seems really cute, but I've just got my phone. I'm just gonna take my makeup off here. my breakfast and I'm gonna take a bowl of fruit up for Maria because she didn't come down with me. Maria doesn't enjoy breakfast at all so I just brought her up some fruit. Good morning guys from Liverpool. It's not the morning anymore, it's 12 o'clock but I had a really cute morning. Went down, got hotel breakfast by myself because I think I said Maria doesn't really eat breakfast. She was busy getting ready for her work thing. Um, dropped her off to her building in the morning. We met a girl there and we were just chatting to her and she was like, are you you look really familiar and she was just saying her sister watches my videos and it was really cute so if you're watching this hi i always get really excited when people from outside of manchester watch me and then i went on a nice morning walk just because it's a new city and the weather was really nice just made myself some peppermint tea i've got this room till two so i don't really want to go out until it's two o'clock really i bought a little face mask from home and i'm gonna put this on i'm just gonna watch some netflix and yeah just relax i'm so excited yeah, my sisters are so different from me. If you didn't know, I have an older sister and a younger sister and they're so different from me. They love having company. But I just love doing things by myself. Like I'm really excited for today. I'm basically alone until four. And I remember my older sister had a work thing in Birmingham as well and I vlogged that and I was just in Birmingham the whole day by myself. But I had so much fun. So let me know down below if you're the kind of person who likes to do things by yourself or if you always need company. Yeah, I think I'm going to go to Liverpool one, which is just a shopping place so nothing exciting i bought my book as well so i might just go sit in a coffee shop it's only i only have like two hours to kill and then i think we'll get something to eat and then we're gonna get the train back home i'm just gonna put my face mask on now i finally got one of these towel headband things and they're so cute also i want to say i used this cleanser last night it's the inky list oat cleansing balm i loved it it was it's really thick and moisturizing but after you've after you've washed your face your face feels moisturized if that makes sense i swear i have other friends and not just my sisters i feel like i'm talking about them non-stop but it happens if you have sisters you know 
you just can't stop talking about them sometimes this feels amazing i'm gonna leave this on for a little bit if you ever get these i really recommend putting them in the fridge and then putting them on because it feels so nice on your face i'm gonna chill with this for a bit maybe watch a movie and i will talk to you guys later Hey guys, excuse this weird angle, but I'm going to take my face mask off now. It's been like 15 minutes. I don't know if you can see that, but that's how moisturized my skin is. I'm going to massage this into my face and I'm going to get ready for the day. And my hair's a bit greasy, so I'm going to do a little slick ponytail. I was just watching Modern Family. I rewatched that about three times now. I do that thing where I don't start new shows. I just rewatch them. I just constantly rewatch like the same five shows. I read that it's like a comfort thing. I've got all my makeup in here. This travel bag is from Amazon, if you're wondering. Quilted and it's got these little ditzy flowers on it. And I just thought that was so cute. I travel makeup mirror is from Primark and it lights up not very well I'm all packed to leave now it's at two o'clock so I need to get out of here um, but I'm just wearing an all white outfit and I've got a little sleek ponytail in but yeah I'm gonna go not figured out what I'm gonna do but I need to check out so I will talk to you guys as soon as I come Hi guys, just come back to the hotel. I'm gonna pick up our suitcase from the storage place. I'm gonna pick up Maria and then hopefully she's hungry because I'm really hungry and I need to eat something. I had a really cute day by myself. I wasn't in Liverpool one for a long time. I actually went to the docks for a little bit, um, which is always really nice. I like going to the docks. I'm ready to eat and go home to be honest. <laughs> So it is a Wednesday. I actually have a really exciting day planned. I am going to town to shoot some content. We followed each other for a really long time now. She's called Tasna. I love her content. She posted on her story if anyone wants to go take pictures with her. And I was like, yes, of course, because I feel like my Instagram is lacking right now. I really don't have time to do stuff like that anymore because obviously I have a full-time job. But with it being the holidays, I was like, why not? I have some cute outfits that I've wanted to post for a while but like I said I just don't have time. I pink curled my hair this morning. I woke up super early. I think we we agreed on like three outfits. Honestly guys it's freezing outside. I just went outside. It's like icy. It's gotten to that point where you can feel the cold in your bones. At least it's not raining. I was worried about it raining. I don't mind the cold. If you live in Manchester you know it is just kind of 24 7 rain. Okay, I curled the front bit inwards today because I saw someone on TikTok do it. Normally I'll curl it away from my head but I'll see if it makes a difference. My favourite bit is like judging it. I don't know the proper word. So oh, I, I see why you're meant to do it inwards. It's given like that little swoop that I never get but I do need to cut this bang because it's way too long. It's like down here at this point. You know once you grow your hair out long you really do get attached to it even if it's like needs a trim. So that is my hair for today. If you want to see any of the outfits I get, definitely follow me over on Instagram and I'm going to head out now. I'll show you the bag I have. Also, I'm filming this on my iPhone. So let me know if the quality is okay because my camera's going through it right now. It's really time to get a new one. This is my bag of outfits that I'm going to take. I've just got two extra outfits in there. I really should have repainted my nails. I've just seen that now. This is the trench coat and bag I'm taking with me, but I'm gonna head out the door now. I know I said head over to my Instagram, but I wanted to show you guys here how cute this outfit is. So warm and it's just perfect for these winter months that are about to come. I'm actually not wearing white trainers. I stepped out of my comfort zone and put some like knee high boots. Not that you can see them, but I've had these for years and I never wear them, but I thought I would try something a bit different. But yeah, these are from Misguided. Again, I got them like probably four or five years ago now. I've just parked up. I drove here in my house, Chuckle, so I'm just going to put my boots on now because there's no way I was driving in knee-high boots. And then I'm going to walk over to Tasnim. I'm back home now. 
now i just had the cutest day it was so nice to meet up with her she was so lovely we were saying to each other at that end it feels like we've known each other for ages which was really cute i love when that happens when you meet someone and you instantly click with them we got really cute pictures of each other and i can't wait to start posting the content some exciting news i came home to two packages my best friend is actually having her islamic marriage in december i'm actually a bridesmaid fifth time i'm being a bridesmaid guys <laughs> so that's really fun but yeah she's wearing a white wedding dress it's actually really hard i've never looked for a white bridesmaid's dress and it's so difficult to find a modest one i've ordered so many and given them back but i've just ordered three more and i'm I don't know these look better than the last ones I did look at modest clothing companies and they just have those simple slip dresses which are really beautiful but they're like nearly 100 pounds I know that whatever I wear I'm probably never gonna wear it again because it's a bridesmaid's dress obviously I'm more inclined to go to Asian weddings yeah I didn't realize how easy it was to buy Asian outfits when you're looking for an Asian outfit it's more you have too many options but now I'm looking for a white modest bridesmaid's dress and there's like no options anyway I got two from Boohoo one from ASOS so I'll try the Boohoo ones on first before you say oh you can't wear white to a wedding she said we can so don't worry about that guys <laughs> um this is so cute i'll try these on in a second i don't know what color that is to be honest would you say like a mushroom brown but it goes all the way down to the floor and then from asos i picked up this wrap dress just a wrap maxi dress let's try these dresses on now because i'm gonna be a bridesmaid again for the fifth time <laughs> Oh guys, this dress is so sweet. I don't know if it's focusing, but I really like this. I hope the bride likes it as well. I've just sent her pictures of it. But when I tell you this is probably the eighth dress I have tried on, it does drag a bit on the floor. This is really pretty, but I think it might be too dark for the vibe that she wants. And I'm also not that obsessed with it. Maybe for a birthday dinner or a holiday, but definitely not for a wedding. And this is the ASOS dress. I put my hair up and I'm like the dress is kind of cute it might be this one that I'm going for it does look like a bridesmaid's dress doesn't it hi everyone so it is a few weeks later honestly I don't remember when I filmed this I am editing the vlog now hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did let me know down below make sure you are subscribed to my channel I will see you guys in the next one bye